is up back at David Confused. Uh, I'm Dave, so confused, and this is part one of Confused Army Ghost Stories and Q&A. So my last video, and I think I did a story on it as well, and a community post where I asked you to send me either questions or a ghost story that you want me to read on the YouTube. And once again, you guys didn't disappoint, so thank you so much for everybody that submitted something. Now remember, if this is part one, so if you don't get your comment on this video, you might get it on part two. Who knows? And you should definitely comment down below a question or a ghost story for me to read in the next video. Okay, so let's just get into it. So the first one is a story from Anakin Skywalker. The Anakin Skywalker? Like, Darth Vader? You're the guy? You're Anakin? I love your work. There was this one time where I was really young, so I don't remember, but my mom said we went to this church farm thing and where the podium was, the priest was buried there and there was a small bedroom and it was the priest's bedroom and it looked like someone was laying on the bed. So my mom pulled the covers and nobody was there and maybe about a week or so later, the same place we went to was on a Spanish ghost hunting show. So you went to this like church farm thing, like you said, and you had a little bit of a supernatural experience there. And then the farm church thing was on like a supernatural paranormal research show. That's crazy. That'd be pretty cool, like, actually being there and then watching it on TV later and seeing people, like, experience the same thing you did. That's not a coincidence. Let's just say that's not a coincidence. That's actually a pretty cool thing. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. And creepy. I don't know what I would do if I went to, like, pull sheets down and there was nobody there. I'd freak. I would probably scream like a girl. Like a little girl. This one's from Typical Waffle Lover. I love that name, and I love waffles, so we have a lot in common. This happened yesterday at night. All good stories start like that. We were making a bonfire in my backyard and having a great time. After a while, we headed back inside. By 10 minutes, everybody was asleep, but me, I was not asleep. I tried so hard, but I kept hearing voices saying things like my sister's name, can't say it does, can't say it don't. Okay, anyway, then my mom went to the restroom and it called out my mom's name. Then it was 4 a.m. the time my dad goes to work. He left and again it called out his name. I was freaked, only because they kept calling for my family members yet only I could hear it. Them and I kind of got worried for my dad because I couldn't see him at the moment since he was busy. I told everyone, they did, and but they didn't believe me. By the way, today, it said hello, and this time my little cousin heard it too. Oh. So it definitely sounds like this uh, ghost is trying to get your attention. Uh, trying to get some attention from somebody in your house, almost anybody. It's trying to make their presence known. That's what it sounds like to me. Uh... And that kind of like solidifies it that your cousin heard it too. So that's actually pretty crazy. You should try answering back and see what happens or like leave a note and see what happens. Okay, this one's from Disco Dog. Okay, so I was at a hotel and I heard a scream, but my family didn't. So I thought it was just my ears. And then later we found out there was a fourth floor, but there didn't appear but it didn't appear on the outside, so of course we went to investigate. It was colder up there than the than the tea of the place, and we heard weird noises and footsteps when we went walking. Then before we went up there, this girl looked at us like we shouldn't go up there. To top it off, we heard children laughing. No one was on the floor but us. And we came to the conclusion it was a floor it was a floor of ghosts.
Well, clearly the people working there did not want you to go on that floor. Like, there's a reason why it was blocked off to the public and, like, probably nobody talked about it, you know? Maybe something happened on that floor that probably isn't in the best interest of the hotel. And they were like, yeah, you probably shouldn't go up there, you know? It's just like that lingering feeling that, like, there's something, like, something hasn't left. Like, something's still there. And you know it's there. Like, you always know it's there, you know? Ooh, that gives me chills. <laughs> chills! What was your favorite video you covered? Ooh! My favorite video I covered... That's a good one. I've covered lots of stuff. I love the videos that I put up. Uh, literally because I just like entertaining people and I like making people laugh and making people think. Uh, and uh, this is a great platform to do that. And I have the best fan base on YouTube. So I couldn't tell you what was my favorite video. Um, I have a lot of fun doing like covering the horrors and stuff like that. The one that's ringing in my head right now is uh, me talking about the remakes of It. Uh, you know, I did a two part it re review and that was a lot of fun can you take a horror movie buzzfeed quiz yeah i could uh hopefully i would do okay i think so i could do that can you do another collab with jesse always jesse's my cousin and she's incredible like you go to her channel it's not a coincidence she has two million something subscribers or like almost two million or whatever because she's so good at what she does and uh, yeah, every once in a while we try to do a collab um, because of COVID and, and, and things like that. We kind of do it like digitally right now. But when things kind of settle out, hopefully, uh, yeah, we'll get in the studio together and do another collab. Can you cover the Conjuring stories if you haven't already? I knew so. I don't know if you have done it already. Uh, yeah, I probably could do kind of like a storyline of the Conjuring and kind of like explain it to everybody. So it's understood better i love the conjuring movies there's some it's like one of my favorite franchises um me and my wife both absolutely love it so yeah that's a good possibility in the future absolutely thank you hopefully i will get in the vid stay healthy and safe see ya thank you question and answer question what was the first horror movie you watched which one is your favorite also do you like stranger things because i'm kind of obsessed thank you have a nice day from a nerd. That's all I have to say. Who? What was the first horror movie I ever watched? I believe it was either part one or part two of Friday the 13th. I remember I was like 10 and I lived in a really small town. So if I was 10, it's 1997. Yeah, I'm that old. Don't bring it up I'm that old it was 1997 and me and my buddy Derek who's like a week older than me like we grew up together and there was a video rental store that was like a five minute walk away from our houses and we would spend like weeks at a time at each other's places like our families were very very close and we would go into our parents' cars and we would steal change from our parents to go and rent VHS movies um, from this video store in this small town that I grew up with, uh, just south of Toronto in Canada. And we would go in there and for some reason we just saw Friday the 13th and really wanted to rent it. and. I don't know who the lady was working, but she's like, yeah, whatever. Oh, you're 10? R-rated movie, blood, nudity, whatever. Go for it. And we took it home and we watched it. And we didn't get scared. It was clearly a horror movie to us. It was a scary movie to us, but we didn't get nightmares from it. We thoroughly enjoyed it. And then it was almost like every weekend, we kept going back and renting a new VHS and we watched eventually all the Friday the 13th, all the Nightmare on Elm Street, all the Leprechauns. We did a couple Child's Play, a couple Hellraiser. We did Pumpkinhead. 
uh, with Gremlins, uh, Critters, um, Puppet Master was another one. Like, we just kept going and going and going, right? Uh, and Wayne's World, obviously Wayne's World. And, yeah, that's how it kind of got started for me. And which one's my favorite? Uh, my wife asked me this the other day. My wife asked me the other day which horror movie would I consider to be my favorite horror movie. And I that it changes all the time. I know it does. It changes all the time. But I would have to say, if I had to, like, right now on the moment put my finger on it, I think it would be a tie between Jaws, the original Jaws, and the original It with Tim Curry. Um, I know those are older movies, but I just, I love them so much, and I still really enjoy watching them today. And uh, so I think that would be probably, yeah, that would probably be my top right now. But that's deemed to change. It depends on the mood I'm in, and you know, like, ask me tomorrow, it might be a different answer, so. And do I like Stranger Things? Yeah, Stranger Things is awesome. I haven't finished it all yet because I'm one of these guys that watch like several shows at once and I get into my head and then I like get addicted to a show and then for some reason I stop and start another show and it's it's not a good way. It's not a good way to live. It's not a good. It's not healthy, but that's what I do. Um, but everything I've seen on Stranger Things is so good. I love the aspect of the kids having to kind of save the world and uh, the D&D &D aspects and, and everything and, and yeah, everything about that show is incredible. It's one of the best on Netflix, if not one of the best horror shows around. So it's up there with like Supernatural, uh, you know, it's awesome. I love it, love it. Well, that's the end of part one of the Q&A Ghost Stories video. I think this is number five that we've done. Um, so thank you so much for everybody that submitted a question or a story. I really, really appreciate it. If you have a question or a story, leave it in the comments below and share this video. Really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed already, you should probably subscribe. I'm just, just saying, you probably should. Well, I'm Dave, still confused, and uh, yeah, at least our dogs aren't werewolves. Peace!